Now we're going to take a look at styling our hair with actual curves that we draw in our scene. So as you can tell, we, we have had a chance to now brush our hair using our brush, but the problem with that is if you have a lot of guide hairs, it's, it gets really intense really quick, and um, it doesn't give me a lot of portability. So later on, I will show you how to reuse your hairstyle uh, from your guide hairs, but uh, in this instance, we're going to create our own hairstyle based off some curves that we're going to draw. Now, it's very important that it, you as you draw them, I'm just going to use my pencil curve, um, that as we draw these curves, that the length of the curves is very important. Okay, so I've got kind of this, we're calling this a, a faux hawk here, not a mohawk, but a faux hawk. Okay, we'll go into the uh, front view here. And I want these hairs to kind of spike up, and so I want these hairs to kind of follow the head. There we go. It does matter the direction. Okay, it's very important to nail down the direction correctly. Okay, so I'll just take these and I'll duplicate them and rotate them like this. And then we'll just pull them back. Okay, I'll duplicate those, rotate them some more. Okay, and I'll pull those back as well. All right, so we've got something like this. I may even move these back just a bit. Okay. And I may want to just double check this curve. Looks like it wants to select everything but that curve. Let me just double check it here and make sure we only get that curve. There we go. And now we'll move this back. Okay, so we end up with something like this. And I only need to worry about one half here because I can just duplicate all those over. So I'll just start to select these until I get all of them on that half. One more here. There we go. So I'll just control G to group those, duplicate, and then we'll just scale these over negative one in the X. There we go. So now we got them on both sides. So with that done, I'll select all of the group, uh, all of the curves here. Actually, I want to get all of them, not just the group nodes. There we go. We'll shift select the hair, and this happens very quickly here. We just go to Edit Current, Comb Using Curves, and it very, very quickly combs up our hair and shapes it, and it's now ready to go. So what's beautiful about this? Well, we can take these curves, group them, and save this out. So we'll call this a faux hawk template. There we go. And now we can actually save out these curves. We can hide them and use these as kind of our base hair system. And again, we can brush. We've got access to all those. So if we still want to tweak and puff, we can do all that. So we do have access to all this, but I just wanted to show you how you can very, very quickly go in and style your hair using these curves. It's just going to speed up your workflow tremendously.